All right, sitting in the barber's chair can be a little uncomfortable. Let's not lie. Not the haircut, but of course, it's always that awkward moment. Do you talk? What do you talk about? The especially, small talk. Yeah, especially when you're a guy like me who's here every week. Right, like, it's rough. <laughs> that doesn't have to be scary, though. It can actually be fun. The book, How to Make People Like You in All of 90 Seconds, is all about the art of small talk. And Nicholas Boothman is the author, and he is sure to show us how to make conversation. Mr. Boothman, great to see you back there. How are you, sir? <laughs> now, you say, of course. Oh, I was going to cut your hair. I thought that's what I had to do. <laughs> well, Please, you have to cut the hair segment, too. That's fine. Yeah. You, you always hear you never get a second chance at making a first impression, and that is one of, uh, I guess, the rules you live by here, correct? Well, you know, the, the, here's what happens. Uh, we decide how we feel about people in the first two seconds of seeing them. It's yeah. completely involuntary. It's the, the fight or flight. If we like people, we tend to see the best in them. Yeah. If we don't, we tend to see the worst. If we like them, we look for opportunities to say yes to them. Yeah. If we don't, we look for opportunities to say no. And and, and so it's very hard to make it yeah. to change that. Can I say before we start, though, that's a beautiful shirt and I love that jacket. So what are you thinking so far of the first two seconds? What about, what about the shoes? <laughs> Can you say Chris is kissing up <laughs> just a little bit? Is that so a good way to make small talk no. No, 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 no. No, but it but is for this segment. We're making small talk right now. Yep. This is what you guys do See? all the time. We're making small talk. This could go on for hours. Okay, so let's See? make this a little less awkward, first of all, by standing up so we're not staring oh. up at you. But when we're sitting, for example, here, wherever you're in that, that new situation, I know you say attitude is really key. Well, absolutely. But, you know, let me just tell you a couple of things, first of all. Um, the, um, Stanford uh, Business School did a survey over 10 years to look for the number one predictor of success. You know what it was? The ability to speak up. Yeah. If you're going to make small talk, you've got to speak up. You've mm -hmm. got to say something. But also, there are two kinds of, of places where you'll do small talk. What we call closed fields and open fields. Closed fields are where you're supposed to talk. You know, you're, you're in, maybe speed dating or you're, in a, you're in a, in a, in a, having a dinner party or something. Then it's fine. People expect to talk. But you've got open fields. You might be in the supermarket or in the barbers. That's different. Or right. even sitting next to somebody on a plane. So, you know, you can start, you start by speaking up. Most people want to connect. If they don't, you test them. You, you'll ask them anything. You can talk about the occasion, the location, anything you like. If they, if they don't want to talk, you'll know it straight away. They're going to send that vibe out exactly. to you. When it comes to that attitude, though, that I know you, you mentioned in the you, book, it's much more than the attitude you say is really every single thing about you. It's your voice. It's your expression. It, it's your voice tone, your body language, and the words you use. What, what we respond to in other people is actually their attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, if, if someone's angry, it makes you feel angry. If they're happy, it makes you feel kind of better. Sure. Are people born with this ability to be able to make small talk or, or be good in a, in a conversation? We are born with everything it takes to connect with other people. Babies do everything right. Yeah. Babies, when they're born, they do eye contact. They'll, they'll smile or gum at you, you yeah. know, and they have open body language, all the things we need. But, but you, you were asking about how you start. Uh, 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 well, yeah, how do you break that uncomfortable silence? Okay, you, you ask questions. Questions are the spark of okay. the conversation. And you, do, you actually do what you guys do and what everyone learns at journalism school. You start with a statement, oh, New York's a fantastic place, followed by an open question. If I only had two days here, what should I see? Mm -hmm. And then it's over to you. And you keep them going by doing exactly what you're doing right now, which is giving feedback. <laughs> no, it's, I'm listening it's, to you, Nick. I warm. really am. <laughs> no, but, but you, and you look like you are. So yeah. it makes you want to keep talking. That's good. Yeah, well, you talk about 90 seconds, make people like you in 90 seconds. It only took 60 seconds for this one. Aww. Oh, God. See a dollar what? God, the kissing Again, up small this talk, morning. Huh? It's crazy, it works. Huh? It, works. it totally worked. All right, Nick, pleasure, pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Thank we can you. all speak a little bit more confidently Thank Thank today. Thank Maybe make a friend. Appreciate.